Ukrainian troops trying to push forward on the southern front. Leading the charge, a German-made Leopard 2 main battle tank. Showing the Ukrainians say that they've gotten much better at using Western armor. But in general, it's more of a fast assault type type way of using a, a tank, I assume. Uh, yes, if it use it on the assault, but not on the minefield. It was a major issue when Ukraine first started using tanks like these in its large-scale counteroffensive in late June. Expected to be an immediate game changer, the Ukrainians now acknowledge losing both Leopards and American-made Bradleys in the vast minefields the Russians had planted. But a tank unit that uses the Leopard 2 tells us they've vastly improved their skills. We realize what we need to know with this tank, he says. The more you work, the more you understand and you start working automatically. That soldier, whom we can only identify as Bars, even briefed Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky on the Leopard 2, saying it easily withstood an explosion from a Russian kamikaze drone. It's a good tank, he says. It withstood the hits. The crew says Western tanks like this also have better guns, better range finding and night vision capabilities than Russian tanks. Major assets both on the southern and eastern front lines. The Ukrainians say they've always known that these tanks have exceptional capabilities, but now they say they're increasingly getting used to using them effectively for assault. The southern front remains the main thrust of Ukraine's counteroffensive. Kyiv releasing this video purporting to show Russian vehicles hit near the town Tokmak, leading to massive explosions, even though Russia's defense minister claims the Ukrainians haven't managed to break through Moscow's defenses there. Through active actions, our troops significantly weakened the enemy's combat potential and inflicted serious damage to him, he says. But the Ukrainians say they are the ones with the momentum, also thanks to their improved use of tanks they've received from NATO countries. Fred Plekin, CNN in eastern Ukraine.